Hey, hey, math people. So, not really quite sure how I can make a video on this. Oh, logarithm properties. These are the properties I'm gonna prove. Power rule, product rule, quotient rule of logarithms. Uh, just a small disclaimer, this video is a part of my Minute Math series, which means I'm gonna work as quickly as possible. Starting now, go. Okay, let's start with the power rule. Here I have m is equal to log base b of x. Using the definition of a log, I can rewrite this statement as uh, b to the power of m is just equal to x. What I want to do is I want to raise both sides to the power of n, and I'm going to do exactly that. That will be raised to the power of n, this will be raised to the power of n, and I'm going to get a new kind of statement I'm going to, I'm going to use um, a little bit here in my proof. I'm going to get x to the power of n is equal to b to the power of n m. Um, I can just rewrite the order of m and n. Now what I can do is I can use the definition of log to rewrite this guy. I can say that log base b of x to the power of n is equal to the exponent, which is equal to uh, n times m. I'm being very intentional with my color coding here because I know what m is equal to. m is equal to log base b of, of x. Uh, so actually, I'm going to substitute that in, and I'll get the following. Log base b of x to the nth power is equal to n. I know m is equal to log base b of x times the log base b of x. Power rule down. Okay, product rules next. Here I have p is equal to log base b of x, and q is equal to log base b of y. Uh, I'm going to rewrite these using the definition of a log again. Here I have x is equal to b to the power of p, and y is equal to b to the power of q. Okay, ultimately I wanted to take the log of the product, right? So I'm gonna do log base b of x, y. That's gotta equal something. I know what x and y equal. Those equal b to the power of p and b to the power of q. Now that's a q. Uh, okay, now I can actually take a look at what's going on here inside the, inside the parentheses. This is actually just simply equal to log base b of b now to the power of p plus q. Uh, the reason why it's just, it's a rule of the exponents, right? If you have the two bases that are being multiplied by one another, same exact, uh, same exact base, you can actually add the powers up. Um, so now we can use the newfound property from just a minute ago. I can take this power of p plus q and I can sneak it up front. And this will sort of serve as um, that movement of the exponent. Now I'm almost done here. Log base b of b, uh, b to what power is b? Well that's just one, that actually kind of just cancels. Lastly I just have p plus q. What is p? What is q? Well I actually have them both written over there. p is log base b of x, and q is log base b of y. That is the second of three that is the product rule. Quotient rule is uh, essentially the same proof as the product rule, except we're dividing x and y instead of multiplying them. Uh, the setup, as you can see, is actually identical. Uh, so here we have log base b of x over y. I know that x is equal to, uh, I know that x is equal to b to the pth power. I know that y is equal to b to the qth power, so I am just going to plug those in really simply. Uh, now what I'm going to want to do is simplify these exponents. I know that if I'm dividing the bases, I'm subtracting the exponents. Uh, so now we have log base b of b to the p minus qth power. So put my p there, put my q there, and we now subtract. Lastly, this just behaves the same as before. I can swing this p minus q up front, and uh, I actually end up getting similar setup to the product rule proof. Um, same story, log base b of b is going to end up canceling. And now we can just substitute in for p and q based off of what we started with. Uh, we now have log base uh, b of x minus log base b of y. Same proof, just with a subtraction instead of addition. Uh, see you in the next video. Keep math and on. I'll do the same.